Whew. Well, we're out here doing my favorite thing, hiking miles and miles <laughs> deep into the Florida forest here. I'm sure we won't see another living human being out here at all. And uh, that's the way I like it. And, uh, but anyway, I probably wondering where in the hell has a cybersecurity guy been? I've been cooped up in my house, man. I tell you, we've gotten more rain this year in Florida. You know, this is the first day I've been able to get out on the, the motorcycle in quite some time. So I just thought I'd come here to the Chernobyl Memorial Forest and make a quick video. This is just a talking video. I'm just going to talk about things. Got a few bugs out here. Uh, boy, you, I'll tell you what, I'll just be quiet for just a second. You can listen to this. I'll flip the phone around here. Check it out. Boy, you, you, you gotta love it. <laughs> Not even a car in the parking lot, just, just me here. <clears throat> of course, if I have a heart attack or something, don't know how anybody's gonna get back here to find me. So, I just wanted to talk about things in general. Uh, first thing that comes to mind is, uh, I guess, the pending, I feel like Bill and Ted's excellent adventure, and uh, the departure is imminent. Um, and uh, on all the things that, that I've done, if you follow this channel at all, uh, you'll know that I sold uh, I sold a car uh, simply because the last time I tried to drive to Virginia, it was a disaster. The uh, car broke down, and uh, it cost me two thousand dollars to to get it fixed, plus stay in a hotel room, which I, you know, I I had to pay a hundred dollars, and, and that was a good deal. I mean, they gave me a deal because I'm a veteran, a uh, hundred dollars a night for the hotel room, and uh, you know that's. When you think about it, that's a down payment on another car, you know, just for me to, and, and you know, I guess getting off on a tangent, you know, if you're, if you're an older person, which I am, <laughs> you know, get yourself taken care of, you know, my mom's got a long-term care policy through Mutual of Omaha, which I wouldn't recommend, uh, but, uh, and she could, she could move out of her house any day. And get herself taken care of but instead she stays in the house by herself and uh, I just don't get it um, so you know every now and then I have to travel up to Virginia which I tell you well I told my wife I'll probably puke green when I pass over into a Democrat state <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, uh, but uh, that's just me you know and I, I never was that way until until recently I see we're getting really deep down in here now. Woo, this is, I tell you, it's a little bit warm. A little warm today, but I gotta get my exercise. Uh, so, what, you know, what have I done to prepare for the trip? Um, you know, the car, the brand new car, the brand new Toyota Prius Prime, it's been in the shop for, uh, well, I took it in Tuesday. And it's taking them till tomorrow at 1.30, where we're gonna make some more videos. Um, because what I did was I tinted the windows and I put that 3M film on the front because when you get to these northern states, I didn't say Democrat, I just said northern states, the roads aren't well maintained and uh, the uh, Prius Prime, one problem with it is it sits kind of low to the ground. So I'm expecting a lot of rocks and, and uh, well, and of course bugs and things like that to, to fly up and hit that paint because it sits so low. Those tires are only 15 inches. And uh, so I didn't want my uh, my $500 upgraded paint windswept pearl chipped all over the place just because I have to ride up and take care of my mother who won't move out of the house. <laughs> you know? And if I had some relatives that would do something, you know, that would be great. But uh, we don't. They, they ignore her and just leave her to her own uh, means, uh, which is she does OK. She gets Social Security and... Uh, a little bit of a pension and uh, that's been paying for everything for her so that's uh that's the latest to, with with the uh the trip i mean you know look at look at all that I, I had to do i mean first thing and by the way used car prices holy moly they've gone through the ceiling if you if you want to sell your car 
now is a good time. I mean, I didn't get a great price, but I got a good price for that uh, that old car. And uh, and do I think this tinting of the windows and the 3M film was worth it? I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I, I felt like it was necessary to make a 3,000 mile trip to get those things done. Do I have the money? No. No, I had to charge a lot of it, uh, which I don't like to do. But I don't know. I don't know any other way to make the journey, you know? I'm, have you tried flying recently? <laughs> you know, I think, what, Spirit Airlines shut down God knows how many, ooh, boy. Look at that spider web, holy moly. You know me and spiders, oh my God. All right, I'm glad I saw that, the sunlight glistening down. But, uh, so yeah, you know, do I, do I wanna make this trip? Oh, hell no. I love it here in Florida. I mean, what's not to love? Can you imagine being out here and doing what I'm doing? I mean, you know, I'll tell you what, well, I'm gonna flip the phone around rather than having my mug on the, uh, the video. I'm just gonna let you enjoy the trail while I talk. And, uh, and, and we'll, we'll talk about a couple other things, you know, the, uh, I, well, here, let's just, let's just do it. Hold on. All right, so now you get to see what I'm seeing. This is, uh, that's just a little offshoot of the trail. I mean, we are way, <laughs> way back here. All right, got a few mosquitoes buzzing me, and it's going to get worse as time goes on. So but I wanted to knock this portion of the trail out here at the Chernobyl Memorial Forest before it gets too carried away. Because once we get on the uh, the other side, uh, it'll, it won't be quite as bad. Um, so, but you can see they maintain these trails pretty good. But, you know, the other thing I wanted to just talk about real quick uh, and, and I just, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little worried. I mean, Biden just ignored the Supreme Court and extended the moratorium for renters to stay in their houses. And, uh, you know, I'm, I've met Democrats, and I'm not going to say who, uh, who are all for that. They're all for it. Well, I guess you would be for it if you're not a landlord. But can you imagine, like, you know, let's say that you, I mean, I, this is something I thought about doing was when I retired. I thought maybe, you know, get a couple rental properties and then, you know, let the renters uh, help you out through your retirement. Well, imagine now you're not getting any rent. You haven't gotten any rent for, for like a year because that idiot Fachi said that, uh, that they didn't have to pay rent. So now that Biden just disobeyed the, I mean, we're setting a bad precedent here. If you can just override Congress and you can override the Supreme Court, where are the checks and balances in government? You know, I know Democrats are all for that. They, I guess they want a dictator <laughs> in charge of the country. But that's not what I want. And, and even Biden said it's, it's going to be uh, illegal to do that. I, I don't get it, folks. Maybe in the comments below you can explain it to me. Well, check the butterfly out. Isn't that beautiful? Here, let's get him on the video. Whoa, there he goes. All right. That's why I come out here. Whew, a little muddy through here, which is expected because of all the rain. So, you know, I did want to talk about that. We've talked about the trip. And, you know, here's another thing if you are preparing for a major trip like I am, you know, look at all the things that have happened. I mean, when they, supposedly a cyber attack took down that pipeline, and then there were gas shortages all along the East Coast, which is where I'll be traveling. I mean, so how do you prepare for gas shortages? Well, I bought the Toyota Prius Prime. I get 600, I can go 650 miles on one tank of gas. So hopefully, you know, there'll be a gas pump somewhere open if, if something like that were to happen. You say, well, Kirk, that's just a once in, you know, once in a lifetime type of thing. Hell, you know, I don't know about you. It seems like a lot of them once in a lifetime things are happening right now. So I wanted to be prepared for that. I wanted to be prepared for bad roads. I wanted to be prepared for rocks. I wanted to be prepared. The other thing that, that I like about the Prime is I can sleep in the back of it if I have to. And, uh, you know, I don't, I really don't want to stay in hotel rooms and, unless I have to. But, I mean, you know, when you think about it, if you pull up into a, a campground and it's pouring down rain, I can just crawl into the back of that thing, throw up a sleeping bag and a pillow, and I'm good to go for the night, you know, because uh, it is a hatchback. And I like that, whereas I couldn't do that in the old car. Um, so I wanted that possibility. Or, you know, the other thing, I'd be taking all my camping equipment. 
Will I be camping along the way? I don't know. I don't know. I would rather stay in hotel rooms if it's possible, but I wanted the option to be able to pull over on the side of the road. Daggone it. I just walked right into that cobweb. Doggone it. Dummy. All right. So, uh, you know, so the, these are the things that I don't think a lot of you think about when you're getting ready to make a big trip like I am. And what about the gas prices? Okay, here in Florida, they're not that bad. But I'm expecting as I get towards Virginia that the gas prices are going to go up. Because, you know, as you, as you go north, the prices tend to, to rise. And uh, so do, am I going to be paying $4 a gallon? I don't know. Uh, I think I'm, I might. But with that Prius Prime, do I care? No. No, I don't care. I mean, you know, it's only got an 11-gallon gas tank. And like I said, you can go 650 <laughs> 50 miles. So, so I'm expecting, even though the trip's going to cost me a lot, and maybe hotel rooms, and uh, which I'm going to try to minimize by camping, and it might cost me a lot in, in other ways, you know, especially if I get in an accident. That's another thing that, uh, you know, I don't think old people think about is, you know, it's, it's wonderful to have your grandkids or your kids come visit, but it's dangerous out there now. I mean, I, I was walking down 441 just the other day. I'm going to tell you what, man, I almost got run over three or four times because, you know, I had to get over in the grass because you know, all there is is a shoulder to walk on. But these people would be swerving. And you know, some of them were talking on cell phones, I admit it. And they'd just come over right onto the shoulder. And, uh, man, if I hadn't been over in the, in the grass walking... I, you know, they would have hit me for sure, you know, and, and that's, that's why I don't ride a bicycle next to a road. You know, I'm not a lot, of, I see a lot of people doing it, but I know a couple of people have been killed that way, you know, because these people, they just don't pay, they don't understand that a car is a weapon. It's just like having a loaded gun, okay? In fact, it's worse than a loaded gun. You can take a car and plow it into a, a, a group of people and, and kill a bunch of them, whereas with a gun... You, yeah, you can sit there. You might be able to get off a few rounds, but those people are going to scatter. They're going to duck. They're going to they're going to run. Uh, maybe somebody else has a gun to shoot you. Whereas in a car, you know, nobody's expecting it to come in and run them over. All right, so I guess that's just it. I, I just want to make a quick talking video to talk about the departure. And tomorrow we're going to get uh, the the video you're going to want to see, which is we're going to talk about the uh, 3M film and the window tinting. And why I did it and why it's important and uh, we'll get into all that before I uh, shut my trap I just want to want you to enjoy the moment we are miles and miles from civilization this is this is why I love love where I live here in Florida, although I don't like the fact that 850 people a day are moving to Florida or that Joe Biden is sending all the illegal immigrants here. Uh, you know, that's, an, that's another thing. How in the world can you be for open borders? I don't get it. I mean, if, you, if you're independent or you're a Democrat or whatever, whatever you are, why in the world would you want illegal COVID-infected immigrants to be shipped all over the country? And a lot of them are criminals. You know, we've got uh, the, the cartels moving into the country. Uh, you got the fentanyl crossing the border. Why, why are you for that? I, I guess I just don't get it, people. I don't get it at all. Boy, you can see we've had a lot of rain. All right, that's it. Uh, I guess uh, I say peace out, uh, be free, whatever you want. Uh, you guys have a good one. We'll put this video up tonight. Okay, I just thought I'd get this on the video. What in the world? is stirring that water like that. Is that bugs? Huh. I just thought I'd show you that. I mean, this is just a puddle here in the trail, but it just looks like it's bubbles are coming up. Sinkhole, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's, that's cool, though. These are the things you see when you get out here. I just thought this was cool. It's getting dark on me. Way back here in the forest. But isn't this cool looking? Coming through here. We just made the turn so the sun's behind me, but I can see that it's going to set by the time I get back. This little loop is about five miles, and I'm only at about the halfway point. But just to enjoy the hike here for just a second.
and there's a there's the sun back there well this is new here at Chernobyl boy you can hear them too those are beehives this is a uh, warning beehives <laughs> you can see the bees in there holy moly that's great to see that is great to see I'm glad to see them making use of the land look at little solar powered uh, thing there uh, let's keep on going <laughs> 